going on everybody it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys and today first off we did have the morning live stream for Madden Ultimate Team guys which is super important because that is the first new live stream of the Madden 22 season guys so it's super exciting if you guys didn't check out that video go back to this morning you should have seen it already today is also easy day guys so I'm gonna be a little bit busy of course I'll be recording first but it's easy day I'm trying to get I'm trying to add some stuff to my shoe collection today, guys. I kind of want some foam runners. I want some 350s. I want the breads. I want a lot of different shoes today. So if you guys are Yeezy fans, make sure you guys take pay attention to Yeezy Day today. Going to be dropping 10 plus pairs of Yeezys throughout the day, raffles and stuff. So just giving that out there for you guys because I'm pretty excited about it. I got a whole setup ready to go. But guys, today we're going to be going over how to build your team day one, right? Because here's the thing. Day one is unlike any other day of Madden. Because day one is a bulk of new opportunity, ideas, um, ways to go. No one knows the meta yet. Every, you go in like a headless chicken, right? Do, do I get a quarterback? Do I get a running back? Do I get nobody? Do I save my coins? Do I invest day one? Because when the game comes out, things will go up. Because the weekend league, right? So I'm going over everything pretty much you want to be doing the first like first week of Madden. How to build your team day one. Because there's a lot of free cards to go through. And a lot of ways to start your team off. So here's my first advice, right? Before we answer it though, make sure to subscribe. Turn on that notification bell, boys. Can we keep growing, boys? We've been doing extremely well this week, getting back into the grind of things. We are at 22,700 subs. Can we get, to, I want to get to 23K. So for that to happen, we need another 300 subs. So if you guys are new, subscribe, comment down below, and of course, turn on that noti bell. And if you guys want to be shouted out in the next Poodle Squad shout out, all you got to do is comment down below and like the video. Um, of course, today's shout out goes to Garrett Lean. Thank you for being a part of the Poodle fam. Thank you. Appreciate it. But guys, let's start. Let's get into the video. So first things first, I want to emphasize strategy cards. Because here's the thing. I'm the kind of person that doesn't buy a single card in Madden for at least a few days. I just grind out everything to be grinded. That's my best advice to give you guys. Grind out everything. Make a few investments, but grind. Just don't don't focus on auctioning the first week because auctioning is not going to be the... Like, you can invest, but don't focus on sniping and auctioning, especially with how they're changing up the whole auction and filters and stuff. But focus on strategy cards. You know why? Because that's going to be there with or without a player, right? If you have Saquon Barkley at running back or Ezekiel Elliott, regardless of who you have, how many coins you have, these strategy cards are going to get boost, right? To anyone, they're going to get boost to Mahomes or Brady. It doesn't matter who you have. These are universal cards, which is why I like this so much. Because the problem when it was on players was simply this. You pick up and you get a free running back, right? Like an 82 Saquon from the um, the veteran pack. Here's the problem. You don't want to put team chems on him or anything because it's like, you know, he's only going to be there for like a day or two. So why even put chems on him? It's just a waste. Now, you can put it on your team. So no matter who you have in that spot, so you can easily emphasize, okay, first week, guys, we're playing a lot of solos. Uh, just emphasize whatever whatever you get for free, pretty much, right? What are your strategy cards you start with? Put those in, elite pass or whatever else, put those in there. And then be like, when you start getting them, be like, okay, so I got elite passer. I have one for the running game. I have one for defense. But pretty much, I recommend you can do your strategy cards pretty early on. Now, of course, they do cost training to keep upgrading them, guys. So you don't have to go far into them. I say we just apply them, focus on the ones that you have, and keep everyone in your lineup upgraded regardless. And moving on, guys, you see tier one, tier two. It's going to cost some training. So I don't recommend going all in yet until you know kind of a YouTube point of view, like where we kind of stand on which net ones are the best, which ones are coming out, how common are we going to get these, how expensive are these, right? Uh, do they come out of these packs? Are they in solos? So until we know all that, I wouldn't go ahead and maybe buy a bunch or any of that. But I'm saying if you have them, put them on your team. Make sure you are applying them and adding the boost that you do want. Because that, again, will be... That's going to be the only consistent thing on your team for probably the rest of the year is going to be your strategy cards because everything else will probably change in and out as metas change, as new promos come week by week, team of the week, and so on. Uh, moving on, guys, of course, you do get your free pre-order player. And if you have not pre-ordered the game, guys, I cannot stress enough that you pre-order it. This is one of the best probably pre-order bundles we've ever had with Mahomes coming with Dion and Moss, like, unreal. So this is my point, guys. One of the biggest tips I can give you for day one is make sure that you are know, know what you're getting, right? Because here's the problem. I've had friends, I, I, I've had I've had people on Twitter, I've seen plenty, plenty, this too many times. Day one of the game comes out, they go buy a bunch of packs, right? That's fine. It's nothing wrong with packs. They take that money and they go and buy themselves Lamar Jackson day one, right? But they get 88 Mahomes for free. So if you're trying to be smart about it, Mahomes is better than Lamar in this game, overall wise. Take the free card. Why have two quarterbacks? Like, because one's gonna be auctionable, right? And one's not just sitting there now until you're ready to use them. Take advantage of the fact that you have probably the best quarterback in the game for free. I've seen other people. They go ahead off the bat and they don't know, they don't, they're not informed. They go, they go buy um the best wide receiver. They go buy Tyreek Hill and Julio Jones and Odell, and then they go buy a tight end, and then they go buy this. But it turns out they did the Rick premieres. They get Jamar Chase and Kyle Pitts. It turns out they have the veteran packs. They're gonna take a wide receiver there. 
that they really like. It turn, you know what I'm saying? So, but one of two things, guys. If you have a choice, do not choose positions you plan to you plan to purchase. So, like I said, Mahomes don't have a choice. You either get him or Brady. For that reason, do not be the guy that spends 300k, 200k on a quarterback day one, just to rock with that quarterback. Use them. Because not the first week is the best week to just pure grind. Like no joke. There's been times, guys, mad where I didn't buy a thing. I didn't use the auction block for a week. I went in. I played every solo possible that's like worth playing. I did all my stuff. I did my challenges. I did everything I could do. And I look back. I'm like, okay, I have about a million coins already from from being level 50 and doing this and selling this cards. I'm like, okay. Now let's build our team. The first weekend league's coming. What do people think the meta is? And that's another thing. No one knows the meta. Nobody knows yet what's like. Is it gonna be a running versus passing? Doesn't not even meta. Not, you don't have to be a meta guy. Is it a running versus passing year? Look, another another example I'm trying to say, you get an 87 overall JC Jackson, who's probably going to be really good in Mutt to start the year. So you get Deion Sanders for free, you get JC Jackson for free, and you potentially get JC Horn from a group That means your cornerbacks are done. So the problem is, what if you go, right, and you go to your veteran packs? You get you open those first, the 82s, and you see, oh, I really like this, uh, this, you know, this Kendall Fuller. I'm going to, or, you know, Kyle Fuller, I'm going to take him. 82 over, you take him. Then you realize you have three free cornerbacks ready. Now he's not playing. That's it. He's, he's not playing. And and he's only and these three are only playing in nickels and dimes. If you're not playing in nickel and dime, you're not even seeing the third guy, right? So just the best thing I could do, guys, what I usually do, I get a notepad out or piece of paper. I go through all the solos, find all the free players I can't choose. Like JC Jackson, I don't have a choice. Mahomes versus Brady's quarterback, I don't have a choice. I go through those players first. And once I get through them, I'm like, okay, so quarterbacks filled cornerbacks already filled randy moss at wide receivers pretty much filled and lance all worth okay so i have two wide receivers that means i can only buy one more which would probably be tyra kill okay okay here then i go to the veterans right the veteran packs you have a choice of 32 players so that's fine like that's going to be okay because the fact that you get 32 players to choose from means that you have options but that's the problem sometimes people open that pack first oh i wanna i'm gonna take zeke i'm gonna take this wide receiver and this cornerback then you go check your team you're like oh, i messed those all up Take, get the higher overall one, get the guys that you can't choose, then go to the packs you can't choose and work around that. So then after getting all these guys, you're like, okay, so I got wide receivers, I have a quarterback, I have Pitts at tight end, I have JC Jackson at cornerback, Cam Chancellor's a mump master, what don't I have? Okay, so I could maybe do a safety, one more safety, right? Cause I got, but I got Cam, so do I want to fill up both my safety slots now already? No. So then you're like, okay, maybe I do a linebacker. This is what I recommend with the veterans, especially guys. Always take depth as well, because the worst thing you could do in Madden is get these pre-order bonuses, take a guy that you can't use, and you're like, well, what was the point, right? So make sure that you guys are prioritizing defensive tackle one and two, the prioritizing, you know, a, a, a box safety, prioritizing outside linebackers and middle linebackers. You move them around, prioritizing offensive linemen as well, because of course positions you don't want to buy. Because, like, you're going to get, Jack, let's say you get Jack Youngblood, or you're going to get Lance Allworth, like I said. So, you get a free team captain as well. So, I would pick your team captain first as well. Because the last thing you want to do is be like, oh, I'll probably do Jack Youngblood. Then you go and take a, you know, you go take a nat wide receiver out of your other packs, plus Moss. And now you can't, now, now you can't go Lance Allworth. And you can, and you will, because he's better. But then when you go to go Lance Allworth, now you're benching a wide receiver that you just put your capital into. Another thing, guys, like I said, team captains, the reason you really want to be utilizing them day one, and I can't stress this enough, it costs five training per upgrade i'm pretty sure see look at the bottom so you just need five training per upgrade so they will get from an 85 to an 89 overall with just 20 training i cannot stress that this is the cheapest i've ever seen team captains upgraded you will have one of the best players in the game like a top five player in the game off the rip in seconds like literally open the game quick sell a gold or whatever and you will have them you may even start with that amount of training from, from a from a pre-order bonus right second abilities are almost impossible the first week and I'm, I'm i'm being so honest guys it's almost impossible for a few reasons first off many guys are too low of overall to even get good abilities yet second all abilities cost over a thousand training typically like at least the decent ones the good ones and a thousand training day one costs like 50 to 100k maybe more because think about it right 85s only get like for 400 training if things stay the same you know 400 500 600 you're gonna need to quick sell two or three of those and those guys already go for like 40 to 50k it's crazy and then you open it up you're like i don't like that ability now i gotta refund it and it's just a whole process captains get abilities for five trainings you can get them fully trained up x factored up the best player on your team literally your x factor of your team day one take advantage make sure you guys are doing your ultimate champion um inject objectives as well i cannot stress that enough either if you can get cam chancellor up to even like a mid high 80 first few days you will end up with like a high 80 speed high 90 hit power tall ass safety the first week and that's crazy again you're not going to get them all but realistically for most people they don't probably get their month master done so probably like december november i mean if you really grind you can get it probably all done by october um maybe september but like i said 
you can get them at least halfway pretty fast. A lot of like win 100 games with an 85 overall. If you're just playing your solos, you're going to do that. It's, it's very simple. So make sure you're getting that done. Again, ultimate champion. Can't stress that getting that enough either. Here's another thing, guys. Take advantage of superstar MVP pro when it drops. Many people are going to go right and buy Derrick Henry day one. Again, if you're a fan, I, I I don't diss that. Get who you like. But if you're a guy who likes to play to win and you're a guy, you're just there because you want to have the best team possible, people get Derrick Henry day one, power him up, and train him, you know, put training on him abilities. And let's, or like McCaffrey, they do it every year. And then Superstar MVP drops like either opening day or a few days later at the launch release. And guys like Saquon Barkley come out. And you might be saying Saquon Barkley's only going to have two speed more than Derrick Henry, which is a really big deal. Actually, no. Yeah, two plus speed after powered up. Which is actually, it's a really big deal first off. Second, Saquon Barkley is going to be way more elusive, way better change of direction, way better in the open field. And then you're going to say, okay, well, you know, Derrick Henry's still good, but here's the thing. Saquon comes with uh, pre-built abilities. So you don't have to even power him up, which will only give him a plus one speed on Derrick Henry, but he may come with evasive. He may come with like evasive, uh, you know, jukebox or no, evasive jukebox, first one free, and maybe backfield mismatch. He's going to come with abilities stock, which means you actually do save over 100k in his abilities and the car will only go for around 200k when Derrick Henry alone might already be going for like over 100 something. So it's always a good value to get superstar MVP players for another reason as well as this. When you want to power down Derrick Henry, you got to take apart his power up, sell him, take all the reduction costs you lost on him and only refund the training for a little bit you know, less than you actually paid for it. Saquon, you pick him off the auction block, you get to use him for as long as you want and then sell him back for a pretty good price and you don't, have to, you don't lose training, you never put abilities into him. Can't stress that enough either. And then, of course, guys, just to reiterate, the fantasy pack. These are the players I was talking about. There's the 83s, then there's the 82s. So make sure you do pick those. I recommend picking those after everything. Do not open that pack first. People open it first. They'll be like, I'll take Garrett and DeAndre Hopkins, and then realize they're stacked to both those positions. Just be careful. And then, of course, this was the Legend Fantasy Pack, and this is the veteran bonus, guys. These are the all the free leaves I've been talking about. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, guys. Enjoy your easy day. And, of course, check out my morning video of the first Madden 22 live stream. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, guys. We need 300 more subs to get to our goal. And, of course, can we get 30 likes in this video? Each like helps the channel out tremendously. So, if you actually watch the video, smash the like button. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.